Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Jayster. Hope you're doing good today. Hope you're having an awesome day. Now, in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be giving you a little tutorial on how to boost the performance on your PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Slim, Pro, whichever one. Now, if you guys found this video useful, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So hopefully you guys can be part of this growing community. All right, let's get to the video, guys. Again, so we're going to be showing you how to increase the performance on your PlayStation 4. Now, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and turn the PlayStation completely off. Do not put it on rest mode because it will not work this way. Make sure you put, turn it completely off. Now, after the PlayStation 4 is off, you want to go ahead and hit the power button for a couple seconds. You'll hear the beep just like you'll hear it in this video. Once you hear that, just continue to hold it on for just a bit more and you'll see the PlayStation, PlayStation 4 go into recovery mode. Once it's in recovery mode, you want to go down to rebuild database. Now, guys, it's not going to delete anything from your PlayStation, so don't worry about that. Everything's going to be right there where you left it. All saves are going to be there, so don't worry about that. Once you hit that, now, depending on your PlayStation 4, it might take between one minute to five hours. So, you know, it all depends on your PlayStation. Mine's took about like 45 seconds, so maybe yours will be there around there too as well. And once that is complete... It'll boot back up and you guys will be pretty much done. Oh, and you guys want to make sure you connect your USB on your controller because you are rebuilding the database and it's not going to be paired with your controller. So make sure you control you connect your USB to your controller, as you guys will see, and you'll be good to go. Build, go down to rebuild database and it'll be done in a couple of minutes or a couple hours. And that'll be it, guys. You'll increase the performance on your PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Slim, Pro, whichever model you guys have. And you'll be running good and solid and ready to game on. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't, again, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.